Chef Mr. West and welcome back to the cooking channel. Greetings, greetings my viewers and subscribers. Welcome. Welcome to another video. I am making some baked chicken. So the first thing that we do is I'm gonna clean the chicken. When we cook our chicken, what we do is we take the skin off. So whenever you see me cook, be it fried chicken or curry chicken or whatever chicken, we take the fat off, the skin and the excess fat. So you see, if you notice, this is a leg and a thigh, the whole leg and thigh there. So we're going to take off the excess fat, trim it off like this with the scissors. And this fat and skin goes into the bin. Not too, not too good for you to really eat. It's not so good for human consumption. There's another piece of skin again. So I'm going to put this in the bin. All of that excess fat and skin is going to go. If you look around here, you see some, some more you take it off. The scissors or the knife will take it out real good. So you see that? We're going to use some some lemon juice to wash it off get rid of some of that slime there's some excess fat again take off all that stuff you know so your chicken would, would be um well dressed up well clean i don't know how many of you notice that but when you buy chicken in the in the um, fast food joint all this stuff they don't take it out it will be there so it's mass production so they have to make sure they do it you know quick and fast they don't have no time to clean it up the way we do but when you do it doing it when you're doing it for yourself you have to make sure you spend that time to, to clean it up thoroughly Here it is. So I'll let you see the progress as we go along. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how even how I season the um even how I season my chicken. So remember to watch the entire video, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. There that is, so we'll, you know, I'll let you see as we, as we go along. So we catch you on the other side. God bless. Welcome back, my viewers and subscribers. So now, as you can see, the chicken leg here is all um, dressed up. And I have some little cuts in there to put the... Um, the seasoning i'll let you see the progress as we go along there it is so now it's time to to season up our chicken leg because like i said i'm gonna um i'm gonna be baking it so we we made our post stuff here this um the first thing i'm gonna put is some ground cayenne red pepper just a pinch just a little bit not too much to let you can eat it let me just let you see in the in the spoon i'm gonna even take out a little bit more look there it is that's the amount that i'm putting in there 
That's the red cayenne pepper. You make that spread all over it, back, and leave back some. That's the cayenne pepper there. Also, we have, we have the paprika. I'm gonna put a little, some paprika there. When I'm done, I'm gonna be blending up, um, mixing up everything in there, let everything just marinate in there. Here's that. Then we have the dash, dash seasoning here. That's the salt free, the original blend. So I put a half a teaspoon of that. Here it is, make sure that it's all in there. And the, the, the part that we have the, the incision there, you just push the stuff down in there, force it in there, that it will be well seasoned. See, I made these inc incisions. Mm -hmm. Sprinkle a little there. Not too much. Everything you're doing in moderation. See, you pick this up here, so you put some in there. Let it go in the in the little spot that you make this incision. There it is. Come here now. We have some time. We have some time leave. There it is. Yes, you open up this spot there and just make let make sure some go in there. Right there. So a time leaves. We have our parsley flakes. That's what is going next. You can measure it, but I just shake it for now, you know, but is this here you just put like half a teaspoon of the um parsley flakes. And then I have my um my other seasoning here that I blended up to make sure to shake it. There it is. So a lot of stuff in there. I made that um, blend it up. Use that for soup, jerk chicken, rice and peas. You know, whatever you're cooking, you can put some of that in there. So this there, I'll put like a couple of um, teaspoon in that. Turn it over. Just want everything to marinate down in there. There it is. It's about um, a teaspoon there. One teaspoon of um, this blended seasoning. You have, um, we have garlic in there. Garlic, onion, red onion, yellow onion, scallion, thyme, dill. You know, lots of different stuff we blend up in there. Tomato, you know, all those stuff blended up in there. So, see, you see how the chicken begin to to look now. And you see how how the seasoning is there. I'm gonna put this in the oven on the rock. The the, the baking pan as a rock. So I'm put a piece of baking sheet down in the pan, put the rock on top of that, so when the when the liquid, you know, fall from the chicken, it will just go straight on the baking um, sheet, so it will be easier to clean. So there that is. And then, what I'm going to do now is put some, 
as you can see, some, some garlic, some, I cut up some onion, garlic and, and stuff, and I'm going to stuff it down in the, um, the incisions that I made. I'm going to stuff it down in there, all over. Garlic, red onion, yellow onion. So you put it down in there, so it's going to bake in there. Make sure Look at that You want to make sure that, you know, whenever you're seasoning anything, you don't put too much salt. So it's always recommended that you measure what you're doing. Make sure you measure it and you're putting the amount so you know that. Because sometimes when you shake it, if you're not careful, you shake out too much. So measure yourself. Have your spoon or your measuring cup and you measure it. It's going to stay there. See, I'll pick this piece up, this flap, and, and just put some of the onion and the garlic there. That is well seasoned. at that I'm going to let you see the progress as we go along you know so like I said I cut up the um, the onion and the garlic and um, just make the um, some incisions on the chicken leg and stuff some of that stuff in there where it can fit just put it in there and let it you know, fit right in there here it is. Now what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do with this here now, is we're gonna put it on 350, put the oven on 350. Let it stay there for about, a, you know, um, maybe 45 minutes. Just let it cook properly. One thing with us, because I know a lot of you might be saying, you know, 45 minutes is long and stuff. We want our thing to be well done. Well done. No blood, no nothing at all. And all that blood is going to um, come out of there. And then, last but not least, is a little of my um, ginger. Grounded, um, blended ginger. And just sprinkle a little over that. There it is. The blended ginger. And this now is ready. It's ready to go into the oven. There it is. There is the, um, the chicken all seasoned. And everything I'm spin it around so you can see it. You see all that seasoning there. So I'll let you see the progress as we go along. Remember to watch the entire video. Because when you watch the video you'll see exactly you know what I what I do, how I do it, and then you'll be able to um to to, to follow the instructions and do it for yourself also. Remember, the, the, the skin, don't, don't criticize it if you, if you don't try it. The skin is not too good for you, the skin and the fat. So it's best sometimes if you take off that skin. And don't, don't listen to anyone when they tell you, oh, the skin give it a better flavor. It's nothing like that. You, you season your, your chicken or your meat properly. 
without all that excess fat and that skin, it's going to taste uh, just as good, even better. Because th to begin with, the skin is not, or the fat is not good for you. So it's a plus taking off as much as you can. And like I said, with the chicken, with us, we, we, we skin our chicken. Every single way we're doing it is skin. Fry, bake, curry, put it in soup, whatever. Making some chicken soup, we take off the skin and the fat just the same. So remember to like the video, um, watch the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. So we'll catch you on the other side. God bless. Welcome back my viewers and subscribers. So there is the, um, the chicken leg. It's ready to go into the oven now. I just preheat the oven to um, 350. Like I said, I'm going to let this sit in there. Maybe for about 45 minutes or better. Let it sit there because I wanted to make sure that everything is just, you know, saturated and, 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 and blended down in there. Just baked down in there. So as you can see, the, um, some of the seasoning is right there on top. But I also, you know, make some incision on the chicken leg and, 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 and you, you know, stuff some of the seasoning in there. So when, you, when it's baking, it's, it's just going to, you know, absorb all that, 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 that seasoning, the aroma. You know, it's just going to be, it's just going to be nice. So give you an idea. And also, also I put, if you notice, there's, let me show you, there's a wrap there. But I put, I put um, foil paper and baking sheet under the bottom there. Also, I put a piece of the baking sheet and top of the rock and then I place the chicken there so there it is so that what that does also it it eliminates all of that um, um, problem of having leakage in the pan so when the chicken is done whatever juice is 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 extracted it won't go directly in the pan but it will fall right on the baking sheet or the foil paper so that's the reason for that. Remember to tell a friend, invite somebody to subscribe to the channel, share the video, watch the entire video, and subscribe to the channel. And we will let you see the, um, the progress as we go along. God bless you. We love you. Stay tuned. Welcome back, my viewers and subscribers. So there we have it. The chicken is done. Sprinkle a, a little shredded Parmesan cheese up there. So remember to watch the entire video, like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you on the other side. God bless you. So there it is, my viewers and subscribers. Welcome back. We um, there we have the chicken and the salad together. So dinner is served. Lord, we thank you once again for your provision. Bless this food. We just give you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Let me give you a close-up. There's the Parmesan cheese. We have the tomato, romaine lettuce, shredded chayote, um, romaine lettuce leaves, Shredded carrot and shredded cabbage. God bless you, so we'll catch you in the next video. Mm -hmm.